When we get to the examples for this section, we're going to look at how we actually conduct the test to compare the variation from two different populations. But an important question is, why do we want to compare variation? What's that going to help us understand or answer? So testing claims about two variances. The simplest answer can tell us which population has more spread. So that can have applications on its own, but in some cases a, a more important application of this idea of testing claims about variances is that if our populations have equal variances, then we can run what's called a pooled t-test. So just like the paired t-test, the pooled test is going to increase the power of our test and reduce beta, which is the probability of a type 2 error occurring. So again, we want as many opportunities as we can to reduce error in our hypothesis testing. Running a paired test when we have dependent samples helps us to do that. Now in the case where we have independent samples, not all the time, but in some cases we'll be able to run this pooled test and again, increase our power, reduce beta, the probability of a type 2 error occurring. So what this means practically for conducting our tests is that we have a new step to take into account anytime we test a claim about two means. So if we have independent samples that come from normally distributed populations, and we can conclude that our two population variances are equal, then we'll run a pooled t-test. In the event that we can't conclude that our two variances are equal, or we conclude that there's some difference between those variances, then we'll run a two-sample t-test. So in terms of using StatCrunch, the process for selecting this test is the same. We'll go to tstats and we'll select two sample. But the difference is going to be whether we leave that pooled variances option checked. So in, that, in this case, we'll leave it checked if we come to the conclusion that our two population variances are equal. We'll uncheck it if we come to the conclusion that there's some difference between those two population parameters. So by default, it's checked. If we conclude the variances are equal, we can leave it that way. If we conclude they're different, we have to uncheck it. So to investigate the claim that those two population parameters, the two population variances are equal, we'll be testing, again, the null hypothesis that the ratio of our two variances is equal to 1, and the alternative hypothesis that the ratio of those two variances is somehow different from 1. So again, we have, if we end up failing to reject the null hypothesis, then we can't throw out that original assumption that our variances are equal. So that would lead to the pooled t-test. If we have enough information to reject the null hypothesis, we conclude that there's some difference. Which implies that we just run the two sample t-test which again means we need to uncheck that pooled variances box.